Okay, give us a go. Got the old throttle. Let's see what we got here. Two 12 volt batteries, deep cycles. The first set I had lasted about uh, 10 years, believe it or not. Charging with just a trickle charger. We enter into the 18. This is 18 foot radius here. It's a little tight out front. We're on the bush. See that's pretty tight. It's a decent radius. Gets us around the front yard. Um, the kids tell me I gotta really watch this bank here. And then I gotta give her some juice here because otherwise she won't make the hill. Here we go. Up the hill. Straight back, here we go. Switch down into the lower. These are spring switches, by the way. I've been set up the springs on, they're working really well. And then we go down the slide. Just let the uh, regenerative braking of the controller handle this. You don't even have to do anything. Pulls it right down, keeps the speed down on it. You can go backwards, put it, you know, put it into reverse when you're going downhill, and it will control out a little bit more braking effect. But basically, all that does is slip the wheels. So you're almost better off just letting it grab as best it can. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is basically we're back to where we're at. It's a repeat. Um, tracks this laid straight on the ground. Nothing fancy, you know. Inch by three eighths bar stock, you know. Your standard uh, hot roll. Uh, inch and a half wide, three sixteenths thick metal for the ties. The ties are I think thirteen inches long. A little rough through there. I don't know why that the frog must be a little bit on the funky side. I built the switches um, in basically in place on the jig using the curved um, the jig to make the curve track I'm gonna go her here again give her some heat got it see how the right once the rail head where the flanges or the, the tread of the wheel wears off the grass it goes so much better Pretty good too. Here the chains running. Dual motor, 12 volt. If I take that back. Okay, we just put it through in reverse. Just pushing her back up. That's nice. Against the against the grain. back. I mean, it, it, it's good. The controller's set to give more power to the front, so the speed, it works a little bit better. I shouldn't say better. It's faster forward than it is in reverse. That's that's simply stated. That's what is it? I don't have the sound hooked up right now. Um, the kids really don't like the sound, so I don't, I don't leave, I don't even turn it on. It's got a car amplifier in there. Phoenix sound system, basically they're standard when they use in G, uh, G scale, uh, maybe even HO, I don't know, the board might be a little big for HO, but that's what I use, a little expensive, but programmable, it works real well, um, yeah, I mean, I can't think of anything else right now, controller basically, uh, you know, your box with buttons, has a horn, sound, I got other buttons on here to do things. Horn's obnoxious. It's an air horn from uh, Harbor Freight. Dual. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so basically you push the button, it runs a 12 volt motor which pumps air, which blows the, the horns. So, yeah. That's pretty straightforward. Nothing fancy. We're doing alright here. Surprised.
surprised we haven't had a derailment because of the heat. It's 90, it's up to 94 today here. I'm outside right now. I can't believe I'm even on this thing with it this cold or with this warm out. There, I almost didn't get enough power to get there. We go. We got it now. Then we're back at it. Slip switch. Back through. back down so there you go that's the that's the railroad this year uh, this is a track all comes apart 10 foot sections um, and that's the end of the ride thanks for watching